Hey YouTubers, welcome to my yoga mat workshop on the Hitachi NR90GC2 gas nailer, gas battery nailer. So I noticed it wasn't working, I'd torn it down a couple of times before and I'd obviously lost a couple of bits on site so I thought whilst I'm replacing these I'll do a quick video. First thing you're going to do, check there's no gas in there. We're taking the gas out, battery out, safety first. Let's take the nails out. Right, we'll take take those out in a second. Oh, that's what I'm it. Right, first thing you're going to do is take out this Allen bolt, four mil. I've already undone most of it. Here's one I made earlier. And that will release this slide. All right, I'm just gonna pause the video. Now uh, the reason I couldn't get it off is because there's a nut on the other side. There we go. This is gonna open up like that. That's what holds that together essentially. So now you've got a few screws to take apart. This is a slightly longer one. So, I think, let's see if I can open this up without taking that off. No, don't think we can. This is annoyingly a different size Allen bolt. It's a five mil. That's your, your filter and then that's the firing chamber in there. So now you can pull this apart. Oh no, what you gotta do You've got to take these these two bolts out here. Excuse my hairy leg in the in the video. Right. Right, I'm just gonna take these off. There we go. And that releases that, and then this part can come apart. Now, this is where it can all get a little bit tricky, but essentially, there's a spring that's meant to go in there. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I bought that spring for no reason. Probably did. I couldn't see it before. Anyway, that that operates in there and that allows that to move up and down like that. Okay, that's when that, that's the mechanism to push the nails up. So when that comes down, that part can move up and down. So I'm gonna pop that back in there and then I'm gonna put it all back together and then I'm gonna put the, the new the new one of these in place. Right, so my first, I always forget how this goes, but this spring that I just found, I don't know if it goes there or on the inside, it's actually inside there right now, which allows that to, when you push that down, that would that forces that down. If you put the spring in underneath, it would force it back up. I think, I don't know, to be honest, I'm gonna try it like this, on the inside so it's hidden. So let's try and put that together. See, now I've put it in the other way. I've actually put it underneath that part there. 
but it doesn't seem to do a lot. Like it just stops there. I'm pretty sure that's got to go on the underside of that. So let's put that back. Right, so I've just popped that back. I literally just laid it on top as I heard before. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna make sure that that pin there is located in there and then it will just drop down like that. So that literally just sat on there like that. Okay, so. This is the bit that was missing. So that's gonna pop in there like that. And these are essentially nuts. There's one on each side. And then you pop your bolt through the top. Like so. And that screws into there like that. Okay, so let's have a look at. I can't actually see that part in there just to tell whether I've done it right or not, but. No, I can't see in there. Okay, we'll soon know if it works. Right, so you pop the filter back on. And then that goes back on there. And then you just pop your Allen key back in there. I'm gonna screw it all back together, put the battery and gas back in. Obviously slide that rail on. There is a difference at each end. Oh no, sorry. No, that's that's another part. That's at the back. That back bar in there only goes around one way. This one can go either way. So we'll put that back on. Um, and that's that. Right, oh mate, we are locked and loaded. Ready to test out this nail gun. Put my new defenders on. Beauty. Alright, so that's all fixed. Ready to earn some more Spongulies. Good luck, folks.